looking ahead to Dagenham, they're a side that's coming here in pretty good form. They'll probably not have the season they quite hoped for, but they'll be dangerous opposition. Yeah, you hope so. Um, you know, I think early or in the start of the season, they was tipped to do really well this year and obviously hasn't gone, hasn't gone into plan as such. Um, they're coming into form uh, nicely, three wins on the bounce. So, uh, yeah, it's another good test for us again. Um, been playing three five two, so we've played against that in recent games. So, uh, from a tactical point of view, a different challenge, um, but one we're looking forward to. What's the reaction been like? As you said on Tuesday, there, there isn't bundles of training to do when we've got so many games. But in terms of the boys, what has the reaction been like to the defeat Tuesday? Yeah, quite good. You know, we um, we've done a lot of video work with them. We've done a presentation to them on on Thursday morning, so to have been part of their recovery. We was in the, the one of the meeting rooms and we had a good hour in there, uh, just going through stuff that were what was good. You know, there was lots and lots of good stuff to come out of it, other stuff that we need to be better on, um, but just showing them and getting their buy-in and getting the conversation started into how we, how we see ourselves going forward, certainly short term. Um, and that was good, you know, we've, we hopefully we've learned a lot without taking anything out their legs we've had some good discussions so you know lots of positives as i said post-match you know to lose on a second phase of a set piece was disappointing but you know there's a lot to be proud of i think you know Eamon had one save to make james probably one save so to uh, keep sutton to two attempts really on your goal was uh, was was quite pleasing for us obviously in possession we need to be better that was going to be my next question. Is is that sort of the takeaway from Tuesday night? The one thing we we desperately need to be better at tomorrow is our deliveries into the box from set pieces and, and how we are when we have the ball. Yeah, you know we're always looking to get better. Um, you know we've got some boys with quality. Sometimes you can get caught up in doing so much work without the ball that when you get it you forget to relax, and that's something that we've we've spoke about, something we've worked on. Um, on Thursday with the non-training group and today with the with the whole whole squad. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a home game for us, so it's one we want to uh, be on the front foot for. And uh, yeah, we see it as a good opportunity to pick three points up. In terms of freshness, has everyone come through from Tuesday all right or is there a couple of knocks in the camp? Yeah, it was a few knocks, um, but everyone's, everyone's back out apart from Liam. Liam's picked an injury up onto the top of his foot, um, so he won't be involved on Saturday. Outside of that, everyone else is fine. Anthony Wordsworth uh, joined in training and, and, and been good. He'll continue to train over the weekend, hopefully to be in and around it on Monday. Um, Josh Walker's still working with the fitness guys, but working hard. So, yeah, we're getting there. Hoops is back outside today, so maybe next week for him. So yeah, we're getting some back, and uh, yeah, some some freshness is needed certainly within the two games in in three days, and we'll look to utilise the squad as much as we can. Is there any further update on Eamon? Of course, we we put a, a pretty comprehensive update out, and it, it's a nasty injury. Have you managed to speak to him? Yeah, I spoke to him. I've spoke to him every day since. Um, he was, you know. Quite emotional the first day and obviously in a lot of pain and, and disappointed that his season had ended after getting the, the number one jersey so to speak. So he was disappointed with that. Um, when I spoke to him yesterday, a lot more positive in a lot chirpier f uh, frame of mind. Obviously in a lot of discomfort, a lot of swelling there so he's got to get that away before we can really get to the, the next diagnosis of where we go with it. Um, so hopefully we'll, we'll know more in maybe seven days. But yeah, he, he's back home. He he doesn't really remember anything about it. Um, but you know, as I said on the day, Sutton were fantastic. The medical staff we've got here, first class. You know the treatment he got, and as a club, we'll give him all the help we can to make a full recovery. On looking at tomorrow, although the defeat sort of put us a little bit back in terms of, of form, we, we head into that game with plenty of confidence, looking particularly at our last home game against Aldershot, where we played on the front foot and made countless amount of chances. Yeah, as you say, Sutton's a tough place to go and, you know, 
we've gone there in good form and, and give a good account of ourselves and just come up short on the night. So there's no uh, no batter to the confidence for that. You know, if anything, we can take positives out of it, and we will do, and we have done. So yeah, we go into a home game, and this we always want to win, certainly at home. So it'll be a game we'll be we'll be stepping into with a real positive mindset. The fact it's a London derby, does that add a little bit more edge to it? And the fact that if we can get uh, the three points over Dagenham, it would be a double over, over local rivals, which I'm sure the fans would be pleased with. Yeah, I'm sure. Funny enough, I went to the Dagenham game uh, for, for Notts County, and uh, the game we won early season. Uh, the late strike for Elliot Richards, yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah great little strike. Uh, I was at that game. So yeah, fingers crossed we can we can win again. You know, home form's important, and we want to start setting that out for going forward. That this is a place that it's going to be hard work for people to come to, uh, and we can carry that on tomorrow. That'd be great. Just lastly, the the club, along with the rest of English football, will be taking part in a social media blackout over the weekend. I guess it, it's an important step to try and eradicate the horrible online abuse that countless players are, are having to to deal with. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Listen, fully, fully behind it. You know, and I stand with every single uh, person who suffers abuse online, whether it be racial, homophobic, or or any other. You know, there's no place for it. Um, and I think about time the companies started stepping up and and making it as hard for that to happen. So, yeah, absolutely, fully behind it, and uh, I'm sure everyone here is.